Hey, Bola Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, so I have decided that I need a mascot and I love owls. And I got this little owl, I think it was in my Facebook haul. Um, you guys will have to go check on my Sourcing with Bolo Buddies YouTube channel, the Facebook haul. I think this guy came from that. He's got a little problem with his toe. But um, anyway, this is going to be a Bolo Buddies Easter category video. So I am going to share with you items to be on the lookout for that are in the Easter category. And I kind of saw this going a little better. Like I was thinking he would just sit here or I could sit him up here. He's got this cute little tail, but he does have this little flaw. But I just thought that he was so cute. So what do you guys think? Besides the fact that I can't get him to look look cool on my shoulder. There we go. <gasps> cool. Do you guys like the Bolo Buddies owl? So anyway, I am going to have merch soon. So I'm going to have a Bolo Buddies clothes and accessories. So coming soon. Stay tuned. Um, by the time this video posts, it may have already been announced. But um, yeah. Stay tuned. I've got a little, I've got a little something in mind. So anyhow, this is, we need a name. Okay. So I need for you guys to put in the comments a name for this guy. What is his name going to be here? Let's get a close up. He's so cute. I don't know if it's a he or she. So is it a boy or a girl? And what do we want the name to be? So you guys Put your, um, let me try and figure out how to hold him during the video. <laughs> figure out what you want to call him. We need a name and we need to know if it's a boy or a girl. All right. So I'm just going to sit him down here beside me and he might pop up and say hoo hoo every now and again. All right. So let's talk about some Easter bolo items, items to be on the lookout. If you are a reseller, Easter items are kind of like Halloween and Christmas. You can really find some great Halloween not Halloween, some great Easter bolos. I'm totally distracted by the little owl. Okay, let's get started here. Um, let me get my screen share up. Did I do that? I did do that. Okay, are you guys ready for some Easter bolos? All right. The first item is, yes, up. It's a Boyd's Bear Hershey happy easter ornament floppy okay you guys i don't know what's going on with the boyd's bears but the easter boyd's bears are apparently a bolo 99 bids and sold for 132 dollars and 50 cents plus shipping so let's go into the 99 bids and these people are not messing around you know you've got somebody here that has 8,000 feedback so you know that's going to get paid for yeah 99 bids, six unique bidders. And somebody asked me what I meant by unique bidders. That means six individual people were bidding on the item. I just call them unique bidders. Um, okay, so let's go to the next one. The next item is this Anna Lee Mr. Easter Bunny Rabbit from 1976. Now he's 32 inches. He is a big guy. And I am guessing that um, he probably... I mean, he's got, looks like he has some fading on his jacket, but overall you can see right here some, some, it's like a felt material. So it does that, um, if it gets in the sun or I guess just probably from age, maybe where the arm is bent, but this sold for $360 with 88 bids. Let's see how many unique bidders, only three unique bidders. And, um, the feedback was not as high on this one. So let's see, we're going to go into the item and we're going to click on that and we're going to put Anna Lee here and let's see, I don't see feedback on that one, but look at this right here. It says $200 and there was feedback on this one and this is an Anna Lee. See, this is another way to learn. An Anna Lee Easter spring hanging basket, bunny in a basket, K 
carrot. And this sold for $200 and feedback was left on this one. Now, the thing with feedback is, is not everybody likes to leave feedback. So um, it's not a guaranteed way to know if somebody paid. But for instance, on this one, we know they paid. So $200 for that one. Super cool. I didn't even see that one. All right. These are adorable. Um, these are little dollhouse figures. And you can see in comparison to their fingers how little tiny these are. So they are adorable little accents that you would put inside of a dollhouse. So super, super cute. Um, 83 bids sold for $425. So these are artisan made. So somebody has made these. The next item is this Bubba Purple Cow Squish Mallow, which we all know is like a huge thing right now. I will tell you that um, some of them do not go for big money. So please be sure to look them up. And when you look them up, it's kind of like um, the VHS and the, the TY or TIE, whatever, uh, plushies. Some of the listings will look like they're inflated and that they sold for a lot of money when indeed they did not. So please be careful when you're buying these and make sure they are one of the ones that are sought after if you're going to pay up for it because some of them are just bread and butter. So this one sold with 78 bids for $180. Antique Easter Bunny Rabbit Candy Container. And this is paper mache made in Germany. These are a bolo. Paper mache vintage antique items are most definitely a bolo. This sold for um, $260 with 83 bids and the buyer paid shipping. So here's the, the paper mache egg. I don't know if the bunny is paper mache also, um, but the egg is. It's hard for me to tell by the, the picture. So if anybody knows, put that in the comments. The next item are a couple more Anna Lee. These are also the big ones that are 36 inches. And in this listing, you're getting two. And they sold for $395 with 77 bids. And um, it says store display, maybe hard to find size. Yeah, the bigger ones are hard to find. But again, Anna Lee can range from bread and butter to big money. So definitely look it up. The next item that sold is another squish mallow. And this is the cow. It seems like the cows do pretty well. Um, but again, you know, it's just they're hit and miss. And um, Easter. These are Easter exclusives, which I think is bringing up the value also. But that one sold for $77 with 72 bids. Here's another cow. And this is the purple cow Bubba. So I've seen quite a few during my research that are the purple cows that are doing well. Now, I would also say that these are probably going to fluctuate depending on the market. Um, maybe the purple cow is popular right now. It may not be next month. So again, please do your homework. This one sold for $205.50 with 67 bids, buyer paid shipping. The next item are these Boyd's Bear Mini Plush. And you get three of them. Poppy Easter, and then this one with the egg on his shirt. And I think that one has an egg also. So these are the mini ones. I think they're like, what, three, four inches maybe? Just little guys. I don't know what's going on with these right now, but these sold for $520 with 65 bids. And that is just, seems crazy to me. So um, yeah, let's keep looking at the Easter bolos here. The next item is this Easter Everywhere. It's a um, it's an LP. It's a record. And I don't know why this is going for so much. If anybody knows, please let me know. It says 13th floor elevators. Um, sold for $578.86 with 70 bids, buyer paid shipping. Paper mache eggs. Again, I told you guys these go for crazy money. For some reason, this one says that it went for $2,938, which seems crazy. I mean, I will say that the pattern is absolutely amazing. The color still looks great, but wow, almost $3,000. So let's go in 65 bids. Now, private listing bidder's identity is protected. 
but there's 14 unique bidders. Okay. So let's go in here and let's go to the actual listing and let's put in egg and just see if it, so that, let me try paper. So I was going to say that if they had it as a private listing, that they're probably not going to leave feedback. So we don't know for sure if they actually paid. Uh, let's see. View items for sale. Let's go to highest first because they probably have it listed really high. If they, um, yeah, I don't see it in their active listings. So that's a good indicator that it was a good sale. Um, let's try this. Let's go into their solds. I've got some really cool stuff. Um, and I'm under highest first. Let's type in egg and see if another, okay, so here we go, guys. Um, it looks like they had quite a few of these. So this just goes to show that they are definitely a bolo. Now this one going for that kind of money, it has to be the design on the egg. Uh, this one went for 191. 139, which that is amazing also. 89, 72. Now see, this one only went for $28.55, $24.99, and $21. So again, it's going to depend on the pattern, but um, still definitely can make some money. Just be careful. Um, and if you pay up for it, just make sure you don't do an auction, you know, starting low. Um, Always start. I always start my auctions with the minimum that I'm willing to take for the item, what I want to make on it. Here's another Boyd's Bear mini duckle buns, duckle buns. Um, it's just a little mini Boyd's Bear plush. These things are hot right now. And just to show you that it was not a fluke, we have two different listings and they both went for 255 and 260. So in the 250 range for this little Boyd's Bear. No clue why. I don't know why these are trending right now, but they are. So uh, definitely be on the lookout. The next item only made it into this video because it is Easter Unlimited. That is the brand of this Scream mask. If you guys don't know about the Scream mask, these are a bolo. Now, they do range. You want the vintage ones. The modern day ones do not sell for as much. So um, check the date. Do your research and make sure you don't overpay. But if you can pick one of these up cheap, I definitely recommend it. Um, I picked one up at a garage sale for 50 cents and I sold it for big money. So definitely, definitely a bolo. I sold mine on Mercari. The next item is this Kelly Toy Squishmallow Patty Cow. So again, we have another cow. But I wanted to show you this. Look how gross this is. Like yuck. Um, I feel like that's really just like surface dirt and could have really easily been, um, cleaned up. Um, especially knowing what these go for. I think I would have probably taken the time to, uh, to clean that one up. And you guys know how I am. I'm not one to really always clean things up, but this is a hot mess and it sold for 132 50, uh, 61 bids. I've been having trouble with my computer doing this. I have no idea why. 17 unique bidders. Again, bidder's identity is protected. I hate it when they do that. Um, so I'm guessing we're not going to see anything in the feedback. Um, see, like this one is at $14.95. So they are not all um, bolos by any means. Okay, let's look here. Uh, let's put cow. And again, no feedback. So we don't know. All right, the next item, I wanted to show you this because I found another one. It's that same um, 13th floor elevators Easter psych garage. I have no clue what makes this so special. But this one sold for $2,035. What was that other one? It was way less, wasn't it? Now I got to find it. It's 578 Wow. What a difference, right? 2000. Hmm. Yeah. Somebody explain that one to me. I would love to know. All right. The next item is this Squishmallows plush, and this is an Easter edition lamb. So cute. 
And I will say, have you guys ever felt these? They are the weirdest, coolest feeling thing ever. I have sold a couple of these before the, the whole craze fit uh, started, but mine, I don't think were anything special, um, but they are really, really cool feeling. Uh, $290 on that one, 59 bids. Again, I mean, we can check it. Maybe if my computer wants to cooperate. Um, the winner had 163 feedback, so that's not bad, you know. Um, let's look. Let's see if they left feedback. Oh, did you see that? Is that the same lamb for $45? See what I mean? It's just so... I, this one looks more yellow. That one looked cream, so maybe it has something to do with the color. Or maybe it not. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a video. I'm gonna figure it out. Okay. Um, yeah, no feedback on that one. Let's look at items for sale. So you guys, if you really want to dig in and dig deep, like if you found that lamb, this is the type of research you need to do before you spend 50 bucks on that lamb because you think it's gonna go for 300 definitely, definitely uh, do your research. They have a lot of lambs it, and it's not listed. So, I mean, that's a good sign that it sold, but let's do this. So this is what I would do before I paid crazy money for something. And again, it's right here. It's in the solds. It's not in the actives. I mean, let's process this through our minds. If we had this item and somebody bought it and they did not pay, what would we do? We would relist it and it's not relisted. So I would say that's a pretty good indicator that um, they paid because March 10th, it's April 3rd. So they've definitely had plenty of time to um, pay and receive the item. So they would have relisted it by now. The next item is this rare German sheep candy container. So that is another thing, vintage antique candy containers. Uh, paper mache and candy containers. Definitely a bolo. This sold for $555.55. But I will also tell you that these items are very hard to find. Um, is this that guy? This might be that guy. There's another guy that did this for Halloween. So what he does is he puts everything that he's going to auction off in the last photo. And this drives traffic into his store. So what I think he does is I think he buys things on eBay during off season and of course other places and then right before whatever holiday it is he lists them auction style and this is what he does it's very clever uh let's see see other items see he has nothing now but let's look at his solds you ready german rabbit german duck look at the prices these things are going for and I don't know if this is the same guy that does it for Halloween, but I, I did a video and the same thing I featured when I was going through the listing, I noticed the same thing. And I did the same thing in the Halloween video. You guys can go check out that Halloween video um, and you'll see what I mean. You can check and let me know. <laughs> let me know. Go watch the Halloween and see if it's the same, um, the same seller. But look at these prices. So again, he's probably snagging these cheap throughout the year and he knows they're big money because he knows what to look for and I'm giving away his secret. So hopefully he doesn't watch this video because he is not going to like me. Um, yeah. So pretty cool, right? But it's all Easter. Well, that's not really Easter, but I guess it kind of falls in that. Well, that's Christmas, but either way, he, he popped it in there with them. Okay, let's look at the next item. The next item is, again, another Boyd's Bear little Hershey Easter ornament, $293.85. And the next item is another Boyd's Bear mini duck bunny ears, $71, 54 bids. I don't know, guys, um, but they just kept popping up. So strange. Here it is, Boyd's Bear mini plush message. Bear Weber Duck, $285. Now these I featured in my 50 Unexpected Bolos video. So if you guys have not seen that series, definitely go check out that playlist. Amazing, amazing items. But I thought these would have went for more. They are 
um, White House egg roll wooden Easter. So they're eggs and that supposedly they were used at the White House. I'm not really certain how it works, but they are vintage. They sold for $256.78. So I don't know the entire history, but I'm guessing they were used at the White House because they say White House. I could be wrong. The next item is this little six inch Cracker Barrel exclusive Easter lamb. So again, it's Easter and it's an exclusive. So um, I don't know. Who knows if they paid it for sure, but they had 50 bids. Um, the winning bidder had 170 feedback. So it's not like somebody who had zero. There were 12 people bidding on the item. So that's a good indicator. So again, just be very careful with the Squishmallows. Now, this is a Radco Easter ornament. Radco in general is something I bolo for all the time. I love selling Radco ornaments. Now, do all of them go for big money? No. Um, some are bread and butter. Some are big money. This one sold for $66. I have sold some in the $50 range for sure. And um, I find them at garage sales. So definitely be on the lookout. The next item is this Barbie Easter parade coat. If you guys don't know about black tag Barbie clothes, this tag right here, <coughs> excuse me, you definitely want to be on the lookout. Now they do range from bread and butter to big money. Even if they have the black tag, they can still go for bread and butter. <coughs> Sorry guys. Um, and you can see right here, it looks like it's got a defect and it's still sold for $610. Let's look at the feedback or not. So this person had over a thousand feedback and they were at 495. So I'm guessing this probably got paid for. The next item that sold are, is this antique Peter Rabbit 10. Um, it's a candy pail, um, an Easter candy pail. And again, these 10 containers can definitely be big money. It's going to depend on the container, the graphics, and, you know, a lot of variables for this. But some of them are bread and butter. Some of them are big money. This one sold for $94.88 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this awesome bunny rabbit candy container. So again, very old, antique. Look how cool it is. Sold for $1,075. Let's look at the feedback. I like going in and looking at the feedback. Tell me if you guys like it when I look at the feedback. 800 or 987 feedback. Now, whether or not they left feedback, let's see. Okay. So it looks like they've sold... I like to look at this too, because then I go in and I look for these things that sold for, um, whoa, $4,850. Let's see what this is. Oh, it's another candy container. You guys look at that $4,000. And you guys, that one got paid for because we saw it. It's in the feedback. It's in the feedback. Look at this one, $231. Another one. That one looked very similar, but it was different. Where did this person get all of these amazing here? This one went for $406.90. It's a uh, paper, is it a paper mache? Bunny mache is what they're calling it. So it's mache, yeah. $406.90 on that one. See, I kind of go down, I'm going to make a bad joke, a rabbit hole. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like I get on, like I'm looking through the feedback and I want to look and see all the bolos. You know, this is a great way to, to learn. Here's another paper mache with the glass eyes, $142.50 on this one. Yeah. Where did this person get all of these amazing, amazing things? How cool is that? Super cool. The next item is this Daisy Kingdom bunny Easter dress. How adorable is that? Daisy Kingdom. Um, super cute. And it looks like in excellent condition. Does I don't even know if that was washed. I mean, look at that tag. Usually when they get washed, they're, they're pretty bad. Uh, the tags get wrinkled. $839. 
44 bids. Maybe I'll show it to you. Okay, so at 790 was somebody with 869 feedback. So let's look. Let's just take a look. And this video is going to be way too long. I can't do this every time. I got to quit doing this. I got to quit doing it. Uh, dress. Honey dress. No feedback yet. Okay, let's look at the next item. A uh, large lot of Whitney Easter postcards, 97 children, rabbits, eggs, and more. Super cute. So we all know that vintage postcards can definitely be a bolo. They do range. Um, these look to be used. Some of them used, some of them not. Sold for $130.39 with 44 bids. The next item is another Daisy Kingdom dress. And this is very, very cute. Also, um, the bunny one was adorable. Does, is that a big stain? Yeah, that's a big stain, guys. Seriously. Huge stain and still went for $390. Wow. Let's see what the... 25 but again, 869 So 869 was up there on the other one, too. So somebody probably collects... Um, if you guys haven't seen my toddler dress Bolo Buddies category video, definitely check that out. So this is an old vintage German Easter rabbit chocolate mold. And this sold for $199.50 and it is made in Germany. The next item is this cute little uh, candle. And I did go in and look at this one. There were only four or three or four people bidding on this one. So for this one, I feel like um, it could be hit and miss. I think that auction style was probably a little risky unless they started it where they were comfortable. It sold for $65.01 with 40 bids. The next item, oh my goodness, you guys know I love made in Japan items. So these are little made in Japan elves. Are they not the cutest thing ever? Oh my gosh, they are so cute. They're little bunnies and they've got the Japan sticker on them and they sold for $159.50 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this cute little retired Linux China Peeps Porcelain Easter Chick. So cute. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. And it looks like, wonder if you get both. That's confusing, right? It says Chick, but then they show the other one. Um, wonder if that was a mistake. I'd be interested to know how that went. Sold for $166.50. Buyer paid shipping. All right, this is amazing. This is another Christopher Radko um, ornament. This one is, it's got some issues, but it is so detailed. Look at that. Is that amazing or what? $510. And um, look at the feedback for the winner. They probably paid. That's amazing. There are collectors for Radco for sure. Okay, these Martha Stewart paper hole punches. Martha Stewart punches can be a bolo for sure. So these are the little bunny rabbits and they sold for $55 and the buyer paid shipping. Um, these range from bread and butter to, I've seen them go over $50. So definitely be on the lookout. It depends on what the punch is. The next item is this Rushton and these Rushton, they just make me smile. They are so stinking cute. Um, Rushton company, there's the tag and they've got the cute little plasticky face, rubber, rubber face, not plastic, rubber. And this one sold for $1,245 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Ray Dunn Easter egg birdhouse. I don't know anything about Ray Dunn, but I know some of the earlier birdhouses for some reason, go for crazy money. And I think that they are marked differently. They say uh, magenta, I believe. I don't know a lot about Ray Dunn. I just know that um, some of it is very sought after. So definitely look it up if you see it. But again, kind of like the VHS, the TY, the Squishmallows, be very careful because um, the comps can be deceiving. But this one sold for $700. Let's look at the bid history. 12 unique bidders. So, and, and decent feedback for the people bidding. So that's a good indicator. The next item is this dandy hoppy hopster Easter bunny. 
147.50 on this and hoppy hopster that's what it looks like it's dandy um yeah i thought i'd dig a little deeper on this because i'm like are these really a bolo or is this just person did they just get lucky so let's look i put in hoppy hopster dandy 51 dollars, 36 dollars, 110 dollars, and it seems like the more detail they have the higher they go 52 dollars. that one only went for 12.50 but it's pretty plain uh, 41, 26, 45. I have no idea why that's there. 9.95, $50.30. So they do kind of range. So definitely be on the lookout if you can get them cheap, but uh, don't overpay just because you you saw it here. Hoppy Hopster, I know that that one went for $150. That one did, but this one down here went for 30. So um, if you can get it for a dollar, well, yes, get it, but don't pay 30 for it unless you look it up and know for sure that like this one, I would have thought would have went for more. Um, maybe doing this one at a buy it now, you could have, they could have gotten more. So, you know, this video got really long. Sorry. All right. So I need suggestions for names down in the comments. And if you think it's a boy or a girl. And this is going to be the Bolo Buddies mascot because I love owls. So it's perfect. And um, yeah, he's got a little wear on his toes and, you know, he just he's cool. He makes me happy. What do you guys think? Name and what you think it is? I guess the name will determine if it's a boy or a girl. Maybe it could have a unisex name. Maybe it doesn't matter. Right. We just need a name. All right, you guys, put all the names in the comments. I can't wait to see what you guys pick. And um, I think I'm going to release this video on Easter. So happy Easter to all. Um, and if I don't, then happy late Easter. <laughs> so thanks, you guys. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And as always, thanks for watching.